Hello guys and welcome to another video. My name is Mark, I'm an entrepreneur and property investor and in today's video we're going to be talking about my predictions of areas that I think will see the biggest drop and areas where there'll be the most insulation when it comes to house prices in the UK assuming there is a crash in 2023. Now I've got about three and a half million pounds worth of property and I've got them all over the UK. I've got a property in London, Didcot which is just outside of Oxford, Northamptonshire I've got four or five, I've got a property in Newbury, I've got some up in Sheffield. So I'm quite geographically spread when it comes to my property portfolio. And I wanted to do a bit of research today on what areas in the UK had the worst price to earnings ratio because I believe that the crash that's going to be coming in 2023 will be led by affordability. What I mean by that is as interest rates increase I think it'll be affordability which will be the key driver to whether property prices start to decrease and at what rate they start to decrease. So I've done a bit of research and I found a really interesting article from the independent newspaper which basically outlined all the worst areas when it came to price to earnings ratios and then also the best areas areas. So I thought I'd bring that information to you. I thought it was quite interesting for myself. It kind of confirmed some of the things that I believed, but there were some shocks. I thought London would probably be the worst, but because of its average salary being a bit higher, it definitely wasn't. So let's go through the data. Let's have a look at the areas that I believe are in for the largest house price crashes. And maybe you could comment where you're invested or where you live and what you think your house price is gonna do in your area. So let's start with Winchester. The average property price, I was shocked at this, 630,000. I went on to Rightmove and I can certainly find properties cheaper, but I'm assuming that this is accumulative in terms of all the properties that have sold versus the number of sales. The average salary, above average, by a long way, 45,000, but this still represents 14 times earnings. So Winchester is officially the least affordable city in the UK. And all of this is only cities. I haven't done towns, I've only done cities. So Oxford, somewhere that I believe last year was number one, is now number two, 486,000. 39,000 the average salary, a lot of academics, a lot of science around that, doesn't pay particularly well. 12.4 times earnings. Truro, 356,000, down in South, 356,000, 29,000 pound average salary, 12.1 times average earnings. Bath, 476, and there's a theme here, isn't it? It's all the South. It's everywhere where property prices have really taken off. And the salary is around that 30 to 40K level. The property prices are 350 to 650, somewhere in that, if we were looking at average 400 to 500 would be the average and it's anywhere from 10 to 14 times earnings so it's a huge amount versus the amount that people are earnings and this is the real danger when you're increasing interest rates and you haven't for a long period of time is that actually people's earnings and borrowings the indebtedness per person is far greater than it ever has been before and as you increase those interest rates the impact on people who have bought properties and maybe their earnings aren't quite what they need to be if those mortgage rates go up significantly they're the ones that are going to really feel the pain first so london as i said earlier i thought that would be the least affordable it is in terms of house price 564,000, the average house price but 51,000 pounds average salary it's 11 times salary it's 11 times salary why is chichester in there at fifth. All of that, and they've messed up their list, mate. Can't believe they've made me lose my flow. So now I'm back onto the video, and I'm not gonna be all confused. Actually, now I've spotted the issue. It's Chichester, absolutely 446, 12 times earnings. So London isn't the top, it's number eighth, at 11 times earnings. But now I think it's important to look at the areas with the biggest insulation, the lowest price to earnings multipliers, because those are the areas that in an affordability crisis, I think are likely to weather the best. So Londonderry, which is Northern Ireland, 155,000, 33,000 average salary, 4.7%, which is probably actually below the long-term average. Let me look up the long-term average. I think the long-term average is probably somewhere around five times. So that is very interesting at 4.7. Carlisle, 163, 34,000, 4.8. Bradford, 164, 34,000. 4.8. I've also included some other places in Scotland because they were all 5.4%. And that was Aberdeen, Glasgow, Perth, and Inverness. And that is 208, 38, and 5.4. Now, all of those, just to be clear, were 5.4 times, but the salaries and the average house prices fluctuated a little bit. And then we've got Hull coming in at 156,028. 
5.6 times. So we're really looking at a north-south divide, aren't we, when it comes to affordability. And the real question for me is, does this represent an opportunity? Are these the areas where actually, if you think about it, Bradford, let's look at a £164,000 house. And we're going to buy it as an investment, so we're going to put 25% down. Let's have a look and see what that would look like at a 7% mortgage. £717.50 pence per calendar month. Now that, for me, doesn't seem that unreasonable. If you compare that with Oxford, which is just an area that I know, let's, let's, let's do the comparison. Let's have a look at what that would be. And then let's look at the comparable rents for a three bed. So 486,000, what would the mortgage on that be? It'd be much, much greater. So you'd be financing 364,000. You're looking at 2,126 per calendar month. So that is a huge difference, isn't it? When you look at the rents, I'm gonna put some pictures up of a Bradford rent up there. I'm doing this with conviction because I'm not gonna look at it. And an Oxford rent up there, you can see on an Oxford property, you're gonna be losing money. And on a Bradford property, even at 7%, you're gonna be making money. Now, I understand that the whole thing isn't necessarily just rent versus mortgages. You know, there are voids, there is maintenance, there's lots of other things that go into it. But is this where the opportunity lies? I think so. I think this is where we find value. We find value and we find opportunity in the areas where that price to earnings ratio is nice and low. And we stay well clear of the areas where that price to earnings ratio is really high. So is this one of those opportunities where actually, now that rates have gone up significantly, I'm saying I would buy cheap houses? I think I probably would. I'm gonna start looking at some cheaper houses do a bit more research, come back to you with some more information. But if you like this sort of content, I don't upsell anything. Please give this a big like though. It really helps me out with the algorithm. Subscribe, hit that bell notification, and I'll see you on the next video. Cheers, guys.